Hi friends, in a previous video, we had introduction to VANA and we have looked at uh, the demo uh, created by VANA. In today's video, we will connect to our own database and we will train a model. We use that model to ask questions in natural language, which gets converted into SQL and uh, executed on the database to get the results. Okay, so as we discussed, one of the most useful applications of LLMs is to be able to connect to a database and query and chat with the database in natural language, right? This enables even non-technical people uh, to get insights uh, from the uh, databases, okay? So it's a two-step process. In step one, we train uh, a model. Uh, it's not exactly a model like machine learning model, but let's call it model for uh, simplicity. So what do I mean by that is we collect some information related to the uh, database. For example, let's say uh, we are writing uh, a query. We need what we need to know. So we need to know the table names, the column names, the schema, uh, maybe some business terminology, uh, uh, even some example, a SQL queries can be helpful, right? So just how the information we needed to be able to write SQL queries, the LLM also need exactly the same information to be able to create the SQL queries, right? So in step number one, during the model training, we collect all such information. For example, the DDL statements, which are used to create uh, uh, the database and then some documentation. For example, the business might have a certain terminology which may not uh, be exactly the same in the database columns, right? Uh, um, so such information um, and then uh, the, some example SQL queries. So we take all such information, we create embeddings and we store them in a Victor database. So that's what we are referring to as model training. Once this part is done and then we start using the system, uh, we ask a question. Now, we, uh, using an LLM, we generate embeddings and then we do the vector uh, similar search, uh, the semantic search. We extract the relevant documents from this vector store and we provide these uh, relevant documents as context along with our query to an LLM. And LLM will understand what our database is, what our question is, and then it will generate the SQL query. Okay. So here is a, a, a different uh, diagram, uh, but depicting uh, the same concepts. So we ask a question, we search in this vector database, which contain information about uh, 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 the scheme or documentation, etc. We extract the relevant documents. Uh, we pass both the question and the relevant documents to LLM so that it can generate a SQL query. The query is executed against the database and we get the results back uh, in the form of data, tables, uh, plots, etc., etc. Right now, if the generated query is correct, then we can add that query back to this vector store so that over a time uh, our model gets improved and give uh, better results. Okay, so. Today, let's see how it works uh, on our local database and how to train a model. So here, what I have done is, uh, I have created a Postgres database and then uh, the Chinook database, I have loaded uh, into my, uh, uh, the Postgres database. So as you can see here, we have uh, these 11 tables, okay? So this database is running locally, but the process is exactly the same, even if it is running on some cloud system or wherever it is, okay? All right, uh, the standard stuff, uh, these are my database credentials, and we have created this URI, and we connected to the database. Uh, this is the schema, as we saw it before. Uh, this data is about uh, the sales data of a music store. So the music store, it has these employees, uh, the customers, some customer related, uh, sorry, this is not customer, this is artist. And it has these uh, sales information, uh, the invoices and invoice uh, uh, items, each each line item. And because these, the product is these albums, right? So the tracks, albums and the artist, etc. So from our database, uh, so this is from our local database, we are reading uh, what the tables uh, it has. So as I mentioned, it has about these 11 tables, artist, album, employee, customer, invoice, so on and so forth. 
and if you look at uh, some data from one of our tables uh, this artist table it has only two columns artist id and name okay so basically we have a local database uh, with some tables uh, and some data right that's a standard database stuff now let's see how we can use of vana to train a model and which we can later use uh, to query in natural language okay so here i'm importing vana and uh, uh, this is my api key uh, so set the api key and now we want to create a new model right related uh, related to uh, our own database so i'm giving it a name chinook my model uh, it asked me two questions uh, so do you want to create a new model yes uh, what type of databases are you going to connect so i answer postgres okay and then here we are connecting uh, vana to our own database so provide the usual uh, uh, the credentials right now we need to train a model uh, as i mentioned training a model meaning just collecting all the information related to our database not the data itself but the metadata the schema the ddl statements the business terminology so and so forth right so that when we ask the question in natural language uh, it the llm will be able to create the right query okay because it need to know the schema and everything right okay so here because we have already connected to uh, our database right so we have connected to the database and then we are running this sql query to get the schema so as you can see uh, information schema columns okay so we get this information schema and this is just uh, so sort of we are generating this plan uh, which is nothing but uh, the schema information okay and then here we have trained the model okay now there are uh, different ways uh, we can train the model or we can uh, provide information about our database so one is using the schema uh, which is what we have done and the second one is we can provide the ddl statements which are used to create the database or the tables itself so for example here uh, we know we have a table called uh, this artist right with these two columns artist id and name and here we are supplying a ddl statement now this information is already uh, learned from uh, the schema but if you want to provide some additional uh, ddl statements uh, this is how we can do okay so create table if not exist artist uh, artist id is integer uh, the name is uh, the character okay so that's the second uh, method uh, using ddl and then we can also provide some documentation right so as i mentioned uh, we might uh, use certain terminology uh, when querying in natural language but the database might have uh, different terminology for the column names right so to provide uh, such information we can make use of this documentation now this is a very generic one uh, simply saying hey this is related to store sales and it contain this invoice tracks albums artist etc information but this is just to show you an example and uh, finally we can also provide some examples right so that the llm uh, can learn uh, 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 better uh, about our database so here we have a question uh, what albums are available from the rolling stone now then we have provided the right sql query okay select star from album where the artist id so we have two tables uh, the artist name uh, is equal to rolling stone we want to get the artist id uh, so that uh, we can get uh, the particular artist uh, albums okay okay to quickly summarize uh, what we are up to so far we told vana that hey i want to create my own custom model okay and then we have connected to the database now we want to train that model uh, so there are four different ways uh, we can supply the information to the model so the first one is using this information schema and the second one the ddl statements third one in the form of this documentation and the fourth one in the form of these examples okay so we have trained the model now we can start asking the uh, uh, asking the questions so vana ask what are the top five artists by sales now the this time it is using our own model uh, which is this chinook my model okay all right 
So it generated the SQL query, uh, which is the correct, and it also provided this table along with the plot. Okay, and interestingly, it has generated some follow up questions as well. So is, you can see here AI generated follow up questions. It's interesting, right? All right. Now, uh, coming back to the training part, uh, we can get what data is used to train the model or the create uh, these vector embeddings or the vector store, right? So you get training data, uh, we get a pandas data frame. Uh, here we have printed uh, the data frame. So basically for every example, uh, whether it is a DDL statement or SQL statement or documentation, etc., it create this ID and the training data type. Uh, if it's an example, it will have the question and the content, right? Now let's look at what are the different types of questions we have. So we are looking at unique, uh, this training data types, uh, the training data types. So it has the documentation, SQL and DDL. As you can see from here, this is an example of SQL. This is an example of documentation and this is an example of DDL. Now this information schema, it also passed to the model or supplied to the model in the form of documentation. Okay. So if you look at, uh, okay. All right. So here it says we have 224 examples, right? But whereas here we have supplied one SQL, one document, one DDL. So three, the remaining 221 are coming from this information schema. Now let's just verify what's in uh, in the training data. Okay. So first let's just filter uh, the SQL uh, training data types. Okay. Uh, we are filtering the data frame, the training data data frame. Uh, it returned two results. This is the one we have used to train the model, right? What albums are available from Rolling Stone? So we have supplied the question along with the correct answer. But this one got added after we use the model. So whenever we use the model, the generated outputs uh, seems like by default, it's get added back to the training data so that the model uh, improves over time. Okay, so this one is the question we have asked. Okay, right? So that's why uh, this data gets added back to the model. So Next time when we run the model, so it's like model version two because it has some additional data. Now, if you look at the DDL statement, you will see only one statement, right? So this is the one we have created. So create table, if not exist, or test. So this is the one uh, we have uh, uh, we have supplied, right? Now, for some reason, let's say uh, the generated uh, response or one of the examples we provided is incorrect. So what we can do is we can use this remove training data and we also supply, we can sub by supplying this ID. So from here, you can see for all the training uh, uh, records, we have an auto generated ID, right? Uh, so we can supply, for example, let's say uh, this is incorrect. So the DDL statement uh, we supplied uh, during model training is incorrect. So we can copy uh, the ID and we can do this. So this uh, gets uh, example get removed uh, from the model meaning uh, the vector store. So the vector uh, store and the embeddings uh, get uh, re-updated, okay? So I will quickly summarize. Um, we have our own local Postgres local database. Uh, here is our connection string. We have connected to, to the database and then uh, we looked at what tables it has. It has these 11 tables and we, uh, and we are looking at uh, one of the examples, okay? So that's pretty standard stuff. Now we want to train a VANA model. So here we set model. Uh, we are creating a new model. So it asks, do you want to create a new model? Uh, which type of database you are going to use? Uh, the Postgres. And then we connect it to the database. Now we want to train the model so that it knows about our database. What, tab what columns? what tables it has, what columns it has, so on and so forth, right? So here we are running, executing this uh, information schema statement. Uh, so we got all the information schema and we supplied that to the model, okay? And similarly, we can provide DDL statements, uh, which is what we did here. And we can provide uh, some documentation. 
and then we can provide some examples uh, the query and the write a sql statement okay so using these four different methods we have trained a model which can understand uh, what our database is so that when we ask a question uh, it able to generate the sql query and then we have simply used the model so if we want to get the training data uh, we can get it using this get training data and the data types a documentation sql and ddl and we have verified that uh, it contain the data we have actually used for training and if we if we found out uh, one of the training records is incorrect we can remove that from the uh, training data or vector store okay uh, it's quite useful uh, that's all for this video thank you very much